down. Okay, it's all good. And you guys can see how he's go he's using a lot of strikes. When you play somebody that goes crazy like this with their strikes, um, I a lot of times I just okay, cool. You have to weather the storm. How how much damage is he doing? And how do we? Uh, oh my goodness gracious! Back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to effectively use Hamza Shimaev. Now, just you guys see here, his punching power is what stands out. Basically, the takedown defense stands out. And then you look here, his submissions is 94, takedowns 94, top control 94. He's a very good wrestler. If you don't know who Hamza Chimaev is, I don't know where you've been living. Now, Hamza Chimaev is a A1 wrestler. We're going against a Kobe Covington. And honestly, what is you guys, let me ask you this. What is you guys' opinion? Who do you think wins this matchup and how and why? Put it in the comments section, all right? But as we get into the match, guys, we have to ask ourselves, what is Hamza Chimaev better at than Kobe Covington? Well, they're both obviously wrestlers. Kobe Covington, I would say, is probably the better boxer, right? But I know for sure that I have more power. Now, this guy here, he's kind of, his strikes that he's using, I don't like, it's a bit random. You see, he's doing, uh... He's throwing roundhouses to my body. He's throwing tornado kicks. So, and we just want to play calm because what we want to do is get the fight to the ground. Chances are he's about to throw a roundhouse. Nope, throws that. Boop, boop. Then we shoot the takedown. We're going to drag it. Then we, oh, I tried to drag it. It's all good. Okay. And you want to be careful when you're going against a Kobe Covington because he has very good cardio. Right there, he rocks me. Okay. That's a spear. Oh, that's supposed to be a spear takedown. Okay, it's all good. And you guys can see how he's go he's using a lot of strikes. When you play somebody that goes crazy like this with their strikes, um, I a lot of times I just okay, cool. You have to weather the storm. How how much damage is he doing? And how do we? Uh, oh my goodness gracious! And how do we deal with it? Now I'm gonna tell you right now what I've done wrong here is let my back hit this cage and let him tee off. Um. Something that, that I need to do, honestly, is clinch him. Clinch him, throw some knees to the body, throw some punches there. And I'm glad that I'm in this predicament here so you guys can see how I would deal with it or even when you guys have to deal with this type of fighter. Um, He's going crazy right now, right? No, can I have shot a takedown by now? Of course, right? He's going to go crazy with the strikes. Now we're going to shoot the takedown here. We're going to turn it. And we're going to get him down to the ground. Think about how much. Now we've taken a lot of damage in this round, guys. A lot. We got knocked down. Almost got finished. But we get the fight to the ground. This guy has done a lot of um, a lot of damage on the, uh, on the feet. But I'm happy. This is what I want. I want to show you guys you can you can you know come back from these type of matches. I'm not in a deep hole, but I would continue to dig the hole deeper if I allow him to just tee off on the feet. So we're gonna throw a punch here, and then we're gonna go to the backside. He denies it. Okay, cool. What does he want to do? He probably will go look to go up. Okay, we're just gonna throw punches to his body just to continue draining his stamina. These punches to the body do a great amount of damage, and you see I denied that. Boom. Now I'm gonna throw these punches. I'm gonna look to deny down because I know he wants to go down. Continue throwing the punches to the body. Drain the stamina. Drain the stamina. He goes to the right. He gets back up to the feet. Okay, now what I'm going to do, instead of allowing him to back me up with his crazy strikes, right? Boom, attack the body. Okay, cool, cool. Now, we're down right now, 1-0. But let's check the stats. Let's actually check the stats. He, he landed 37. I landed 31. He had like five or six more significant landed, but he had a knockdown. So, and he went crazy. He went crazy with his strikes, kicks, punches. He was going insane, right? And I shoot another takedown. Okay, jab cross. He throws a flying knee. Okay, that's fine. And I'm just playing it calm. I'm keeping it all boxing because I don't want to get countered throwing any kicks. Hamza Chimaev isn't really known for a kick, so I'm keeping everything boxing, basic boxing, jab, cross, lead, hooks, and things like that. But this guy here is throwing stuff like this, right? Boom, and we take him down. And remember, you guys see, he was Division 20. He was not a slouch or none of that. Okay? 
He go, he goes up. Now we're gonna try to go back into the side control. He does deny it. Okay, cool. We can be patient here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna wait, see what he does. He's doing nothing. The grapple advantage at the top of the screen is even. Okay. Try to posture up just to waste some time. And hopefully the referee doesn't stand us up. He does reverse the position. But what is he gonna do on top? Okay. He does strikes. We're gonna utilize the fakes. He does deny the fake. Let's see if he goes top mount. Nope. He hasn't went top mount yet. He got full grapple advantage. He isn't doing anything with it. He just holding it. And then he lost it all. See what? That's a huge mistake he just made. He made a huge dot. Guys, he made a huge mistake. The man's had full grapple advantage. Right? Full grapple advantage and did nothing with it. Did, didn't transition. He literally would have transitioned for free, basically. And he didn't utilize it. Instead, he postured up, landed one strike, and then he, I reversed the position. Well, here we go here. All right. We're going to do a fake. He Okay, he goes here. He throws a hand on my head. Next time he does, I can posture straight up. Okay, now we're going to posture back down. Just be patient. We're going to posture back up again. And I'm going to throw two straight strikes because he's been holding his hand out to block the hooks. Let's see if we can get this. Boom, we get it. Fake arm triangle. Fake arm triangle. See, he biting on those fakes. We got full grapple advantage. He still denies the transition. Okay. Fake into a transition. We get the top mount. Cool. Let's see what he's going to do. He's not doing anything. We're going to try to posture up. He denies the posture up. Nice. Okay. Let's try to posture up again. We get it this time. And then we're just going to throw straight strike because he likes to... Uh, okay. He's going to immediately... Okay. He goes here. He's probably going to go... He goes up. Nope. Denied it. Punch. Punch. And we're just going to be annoying to this guy. It's 30 seconds in the round. I'm not going to really make any mistakes by trying to transition or anything. I'm just going to hold the position here for the rest of the round. Now, I do deny that. And he's probably thinking he's going to try to posture up. But nope. I'm going to go side control. And even if I just land one elbow, it's better than landing, you know, than nothing I would have landed in, side, uh, in half guard. See these elbows? And, I'm, and I didn't think about that. I landed about three or four elbows there, and I denied two or three transitions. He could have prevented all of that if he just stayed in half guard. But, guys, now that I'm done with round two, I'm going to run a quick ad for you guys. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit the like button, all right? Here you go. And round two, I think round two 100% goes to me. Uh, I have three minutes of control time. For sure goes to me. Um, he's going to come out maybe more aggressive in his second round. And we're going to be ready for that. Boom. Okay. There's a high kick. I mean, a hook. Okay. We've shot in single. Uh, I'm sorry. We've shot in double legs most of the time. We're going to shoot this single leg. We're going to turn it up. Boom. Back down to the ground. So this this Covington, again, he's Division 20, guys. He's not like some bum. He's somebody in Division 20 right now. Okay. We're going to wait here. He isn't transitioning. Try to go for the crucifix again. He does deny it again. I suspect he's okay. I look to deny up. I tried to deny up, but he got it. Okay. Now he's landed not much on the feet. We get him on down to the ground, and we've landed some nice elbows. He's trying to pre-deny transition, and I'm not transitioning yet. Okay. I think he's gonna go to the right. Okay. He goes to the left. I figured he goes to the right, uh, and that's because if he does, it'll put him in the position where he's in sprawl, and my back will be towards the cage. Right here, this is what I'm talking about. And then he could just go up. See what I mean? But I'm just going to punch his body here. And then I'm going to break the, I'm going to get up off the ground. And then continue playing my, my style. Okay? I'm fine with him throwing these kicks. We rock him here. Bye. Bye. Go up top. We're going to clinch him. Two knees to the face. And then try to push him to the cage. Now we're going to get control here. We're going to try to backpack. We do get it. He's going to do this here. Now we have his back. And we know Masvidal, I mean not Masvidal, but Kobe Covington does have a lower stat as far as submission defense. But I'm not even worried about submissions because I want to make this fight just harder for him. I want to drown him. All right. So here we go here. We're going to go down. All right. Did a little bit of ground and pound there. Here we go. And just think about, remember round one, where I allowed him to just be the aggressor and fighting his style, but then I, I, I no longer accepted it. So we go here. 
step for step. He I'm just going to punch it. If he's going to allow it, I'm going to punch his body. And even here, I'm going to throw elbows to his uh, knees to his stomach. Okay, cool. He goes here. What is he going to do? He throws a, a knee to my head. Boom, spear takedown. He he does pre-deny the takedown, and I'm okay with this. I'd rather this than him basically um, trying to break my block, which what he tried to do. But again, his stamina is not looking good. I promise it's not. I promise it. Look at, look at how slow his punches are now. Look at how you, you can see the fatigue in his punches even on the ground. All right, we'll get back to the half guard. We've rocked him a couple times. Ground control, just mauling. Just a complete mauling. Here we go. Here we go. Touch him up. I got to watch out. He might try to fake glove touch him. Jab across lead hook. He just tried to crane kick. Can't crane kick me. Okay. Got to be careful going to this guy's body. See how he's throwing that roundhouse? I'm not even really worried about that because um, my body health is good and he doesn't have... Kobe Covington doesn't have the greatest kicks. Let's shoot the takedown. We're going to drag it. Then we're going to turn it. And this guy's takedown defense is, is not great at all. Not great at all. We denied that. Man, this is some serious ground Boom. He denies the crucifix. Nice. Okay. So he's probably going to go to the left. There he goes. We're going to throw a punch on the left. And then we're going to transition to the left. He does deny it. Okay. Fine. I'm okay with this. Now we're just going to punch his body. Continue draining his stamina. If he's not going to do anything, we're going to punch his body. Now I'm going to get up. That way, my back isn't too close to the cage. Okay. Punch him to the body. And you guys can see how I'm using just basic boxing combinations. My jab, my cross. Um, I'm not too worried about Kobe Covington's power. Okay, cool. Let's shoot this takedown. We're going to turn it up. We're getting back down to the ground. His takedown, de his takedown defense is literally zero. And it's no offense to him, but why would I stop shooting takedowns if he's going to keep allowing them? He throws a hand on my head. I'm able to immediately posture up and get into... Uh, you see how he's throwing a hand on my head, guys? If they do that, you can instantly transition uh, up. And without... Um, like, look at that. Boom. Instantly transition up. Okay. Go back into the side control. Okay. Struggle crucifix. Nope, he denies it. Nope, denied that. I knew he wanted to go sprawl. One, two, three, four, five. He just ate five elbows. Let's try to go top mount. Yep, he probably think I was going to posture up. He tries to go up. We denied that. Now we're gonna posture up ourselves and just throw straight strikes because he likes to. Uh, well, we threw the hooks there after he evaded our first straight strike. Okay. But he, he's just getting mauled. This guy's literally getting mauled. Now let's see if he's gonna make the mistake that he made last time. Yep, he did. We're gonna go into side saddle and continue raining down strikes. Now in this position, he instantly gets out, which was actually pretty nice. Boom. He goes up. Now, let's try to transition. Let's see if he gives me this. He did. Right. Now, he reverses the position, but he got five seconds. He got five seconds. So, we're not worried about what he has or what he's capable of doing within those five seconds. All right. So, um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to run uh, another ad. And if you get it, you get it. You don't. You don't. All right. Here you go. Now, as we come down to this last round, we know his head off doesn't look good, but our head off isn't the best either, right? Okay. So, with me, with me knowing that, with me knowing that, I'm going to be careful. I know his stamina isn't that great either. Ooh, nice hook he landed. Okay. 
He throws that spear takedown instantly. Now I know somebody's going to comment and be like, how did you do that takedown? Basically, that takedown there is uh, is automatic. If you have a significant stamina advantage versus your opponent, it will instantly go into a spear takedown um, against your opponent. Try to pass her up. Okay. Let's try to uh, go top mount. We do get it. Let's see what he does here. He goes to the left. Okay, we can probably posture up, go into side control, and this is just a complete mauling. He goes here. Boom, he denies that transition. Fine, and I'm okay with that. Okay, here we go. He goes here. Okay, and we know exactly what he wants to do, guys. We know exactly what he wants to do. So what do we do? We clinch him, reverse the position. I know exactly what you want to do. I'm not even going to throw a body shot and possibly get hit with an uppercut. We drop him. We're going to, oh, I was going to clinch him. Now, he, now he's on the defensive. But the thing is, he has to finish the fight. I'm up right now. We rock him here. Shoot the takedown near the cage. Boom. Take him back down to the ground. We're literally Kobe Covington, Kobe Covington. We got an arm triangle here. If we can uh, deny transition, I'm a transition. I'm about to say transaction. Like, <laughs> I ain't buying nothing. Now so he's just waiting here. He's not doing anything. But the problem is, I don't have to do anything. I've done, I've done my work in this round, in this fight. You know what I mean? I've done the work that I needed to do. Okay, cool. All right. Now he's just throwing these punches on my head. Well, I'm just gonna posture up, bro, and go into side control. Side control now goes upstairs for an elbow. Okay. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation. And he denies that. These type of okay, cool. Let me back up, get back up. My stamina doesn't look too good. So Sweet. Just like that, the fight's over. Just like that, the fight is over. I'm telling you, man, you gotta. You gotta be careful, bro. You gotta be careful. You got to be more careful. But um. GG's to my opponent here. If you guys did enjoy the video, be highly appreciated if you guys hit the like button. And honestly, I'm going to leave it at one fight. I don't want to even do another one. I think this is a pretty good fight to you know, leave it at because it's versus Kobe Covington. Um, and there's a lot to learn in this video, and I don't want to jam too much information into players that are unaware of the things that went on within this first fight. So if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, guys, again, comment down below who you guys got and what round do you have if it's a finish or a decision. Kobe Covington versus Hamza Chimaev. Are you team Hamza or you team Kobe, man? All right. That being said, your boy's out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my streams or any of my uploads. All right. Before you guys go, do me one more favor, man. Stay up, stay blessed. Keep moving forward. Love you guys. See you.